We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you this special report. And now here's Tom Brokaw. Uh, In three, two, one. Hello, this is Tom Brokaw reporting live with a special report. Hello, addressing the nation at Christmas, the President of the United States, George W. Bush, will take you to Clay Cooper Theater live. Thank you. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Good Americans. My fellow Americans, hey, Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> to all of our Jewish friends, happy harmonica. <laughs> hey, uh, how about a little Christmas story? Huh? A little Christmas ditty, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys are going to miss me. <laughs> all right, here's a classic for you. <clears throat> Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the White House... Not a creature was stirring because my dog Barney ate the mouse. <laughs> Mine and Laura's stockings were hung by the chimney with care with no idea Bill Clinton soon would be there. Bill. Hey. There's a lot of foxy ladies out here tonight, ain't there? Foxy, 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 foxy. <clears throat> the Clintons were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of Monica <laughs> danced in my head. And her and her kerchief and on my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. And dreaming 2012 would be Hillary's turn. When all of a sudden along came George Burns. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter. It scared me so bad I emptied my bladder. <laughs> Whoops. Away to the window I flew like a flash. <laughs> Tore open the shutters and threw up. <laughs> oh, the sash. Sorry. I'm now, ladies and gentlemen. Here's Charlie. Uh, hello, Johnny Carson here, uh, also known as Karnak the Magnificent. Uh, this envelope has been hermetically sealed in a mayonnaise jar since noon today. Nobody, I repeat, nobody knows the contents of this envelope. Uh, let's see. Uh, a home run in a triple, uh, first baseman's glove and a catcher's glove, and Dolly Parton. Uh, name two big hits, two big mitts, <laughs> uh, and a country western singer. Oh. Don't want stuff, Ed. Uh, now back to the story. And what to my wondering eyes should I see but a jolly old fat man and his red BBDs? The driver, a quick witted fellow, I uh, didn't know it was Bill Cosby bringing us jello. Bill Cosby, you say? <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story. I tell this Christmas story every Christmas, and now I'm going to tell it to you. Now! 
more rapid than eagles as coarse as they came with the flizzle, at the flizzle, at the jello pudding pops. <laughs> and the buckwheat whistled and shouted and called to my name, Buckwheat! Now dancing, now dancing, now panther and venting. <laughs> on time and on tupid and dunder and blitting. To the top of the port, to the top of the wall. Now death to bay, death to bay, death to bay all. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, Tay, Jay Leno. <laughs> okay, so, uh, have you read the news today? Anybody read the news? Well, apparently the Supreme Court ruled today that they're not going to have a nativity scene on the White House lawn. Yeah, it's not because of religious reasons. They just couldn't find three wise men in Washington. So. <laughs> back, 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 back to the story now. Santa's eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like John Kerry. <laughs> John Kerry in long bathing him. My next guest is a guy who's causing all kinds of drama. Ladies and gentlemen, President-elect Barack Obama. Barack Obama, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay, look. I'm going to be your president here in a couple of months. And I figured I'd make a few key changes to the White House. I'm going to take out the bowling alley and make it a basketball court. And I figured I'd change the ring of the doorbell to the White House as well. Check it out. Well, I'm glad you like it. But listen, one of the fundamental differences between me and Santa Claus, uh, it says in the story he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all covered in ashes and soot. And the fundamental difference between me and Santa Claus is he needs change. <laughs> A change of clothes and needs to provide a better elf care plan to ensure healthier elves around the globe. Now, I think I'm using my brain. What about Senator John McCain? My friends, Obama been lying. He's not clarifying. He's gonna raise your taxes and spread the wealth. That's not good for any elf's health. <laughs> my, my friends, even with his broad little face and round little belly, he'll be forced to live on peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> that jolly old elf really sent the Dems flailing when he introduced me up north to Governor Sarah Palin. Sarah Palin, everyone. Sarah. What the country? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Yakov Smirnov here. Thank you. He sprang to his sleigh, so his team gave a whistle. And the way they all flew like a Russian missile. <laughs> and the heart of his claim ere he drove out the side. Help me out, Shoji. Merry Christmas to all, and to all, what a country!
Thank you. Merry Christmas.